Hello and welcome to the Book Tasters. From young adult to tween and everything in between, the Book Tasters serve up the tastiest reviews of today's and yesterday's greatest stories. I'm your host, Timothy J. Burdick, and I'm joined by my co-host for the week, Stella. Stella, how are you doing today? Good. Fantastic. So, I hear you brought some fantastic facts to share with us today. Yep. Alright, why don't we start off with the first one? Um, elephants are the only animal who can't jump. Interesting. So an elephant can't jump, which means they probably would not be on the animal basketball team. Yep. Although <laughs> them being so big, I wouldn't mind keeping them in center, right? Because they could, you know, get the trunk, block the shots. They don't have to jump much. Yeah. <laughs> Running the court, on the other hand? What? Running the court, on the other hand? Yeah. That'd be tough. <laughs> that would be. If you were to uh, create your own animal basketball team, um, w- besides the elephant, of course. Uh-huh. Uh, what animals would be on that team? Definitely cheetahs, because they are very fast. Cheetahs, for sure. Any others? Um, I would do dogs, because they're very intelligent. Mm, that makes sense. I think I'd add a kangaroo there. Oh, yeah, because mm-hmm, they, they jump. The hops, they're right? the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have dog, kangaroo, cheetah, elephant. Ooh, we're missing one. Ooh, um, that's tough. I would do... The giraffe. Yeah, definitely the giraffe, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that would be an unstoppable force. That would be an all-star team right there. <laughs> All right. What's your next fact? Um, there's 1,000 flavors of ice cream. That's it? Only 1,000? <laughs> I know, right? That surprised me, too. Oh, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Ooh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, that is yummy. I'm a big Moose Tracks fan. Ooh, yes. Um, I had Deer Tracks once, too, and that was really good. But Moose Tracks is by far my favorite. But chocolate chip cookie dough, that's a close second. Mm-hmm. Now, does that include, like, frozen yogurt, or does that in you include, like, Superman? I believe just normal hard ice cream. No soft ice cream, just... Okay, so no sherbet, no push no pops, sher- nothing I'd, like that. I don't believe so, but I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine if we were to add all the other types of what we think of, like, what we, what we would equate with ice cream? Mm-hmm. Uh, there'd be a, at least more than a thousand, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, what's your next one? It is true that cats always land on their feet. It is true that cats it always land on their feet. It is true, yes. Interesting. Have you done any experiments with dropping cats? Um, no, but, <laughs> um, yeah. So cats always jump on the, or <laughs> they don't jump on, well, of course they jump with their feet, right? Uh-huh. Now that I'm thinking about it, we should have cats on this basketball team, right? Yeah. <laughs> so cats always land on their feet, right? So what does that have to do with the book that you brought to share with us today? Um, the main character, like, the st- whole stories take place. They're all cats. Oh, okay. And this is the Warrior series, correct? Yes. And all of them are cats. Uh huh. So it's like a whole big world of just cats. Yes. And what are these cats doing? Um, they are in four separate clans: River Clan, Thunder Clan, Shadow Clan, and Wind Clan. And um, basically, they—that's all they do. They, and then in the st- in the story. Shadow Clan is um, like suspicious, and everyone suspects them um, teaming up with other clans to defeat Thunder Clan. And I see. the main character is trying to defend his home. All right. So that being said, Firepaw here uh-huh. is is guarding his clan, the Thunder the Thunder name? Clan, the Thunder Clan, right? And why would anybody be suspicious suspicious of the Thunder Clan? Because um. No, suspicious of Sa- Shadow Clan. Cause, oh, okay. Um, yeah, because so Firepaw is new to the clan, so he doesn't really know everything. But then he comes to a gathering, which is all the four clans grouped together, and then he finds the Shadow Clan's leader nervous and like, like he feels as if he, they're not. T- he's not telling them everything he knows. Hmm. Okay, so there is some mild suspicion going on, yes. and we're not quite sure exactly how this is going to play out, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so so what is the Thunder Clan known for? Like, no, what, you said they're the they're heroes; n- they're the main clan. They're known for being the like bravest of the four clans. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good. So yeah. they're protectors. I'm sure. Uh, do, they, yes. do they hunt? Are they hunters? Yeah, they're, they're hunters. Like, uh, all right. So they're the ones that keep this whole society afloat, pretty much. Then. Yes. Okay, very good. So where does the conflict enter into this story? We have, um, I'm sorry, what was the name of the main character again? Firepaw. Firepaw. We have Firepaw, um, who's clearly in the Thunder Clan, but, and he's the main character. But when does the conflict enter into Firepaw's life? Um, so let me 
take you back into the beginning of the story. So Fire Paw was originally a kitty pet or a house pet who is called Rusty. Now he travels into the forest and meets ThunderClan and decides to join him. Um, so the conflict is, is that um, he is when he gets to know his clan and the other clans and he is whether or not to go back to his, ha his other life or to stay with the clans. And he chooses to stay with the clans. And then um, he really finds this, like, challenges and starts of being a clan cat. I see what you're saying. Okay, so being a clan cat is much different than being a house pet. Yes, and he goes through a ton of challenges and starts doubting some of his clan mates. And it's all very, very intense. <laughs> very intense. So there's a lot of tension that's built up in this story yes. that kind of leads up to a climax, which I'm not going to ask you to reveal because I'm yes. sure you've already read this whole book, right? Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. Well, you brought the book with us today, and there was a, a couple pages that you wanted to read to us. Why don't yes. you go ahead and take that and get those ready while I uh, talk a little bit about the Warrior series in general, okay? Uh, the Warrior series obviously is based on if you love animals and if you love a touch of fantasy, uh, and if you love what's called personification, which means giving human qualities to things that aren't human. Warriors is probably one of the best book series that you could possibly read. It's entertaining, it's got a lot of action, a um, little mystery involved too, uh, but ultimately it's cats behaving almost as if they were humans, but in different ways that only cats can behave. So, yes. All right, and I see you got your page ready for us. Go, mm -hmm. why don't you go ahead and start. Are you asking Star Clan for answers? Mailed spotted leaf gently, following Blue Star's gaze and staring up to the swath of stars glittering in the dark sky. It is times like this we need the words of ancient warriors to help us. Has Star Clan spoken to you? Blue Star asked. Not for some moons, Blue Star. Suddenly, a shooting star blazed over the treetops. Spotted leaf's tail twitched, and the fur along her spine bristled. Blue Star's um, ears prickled by she remained silent as Spotted Leaf continued to gaze upon. After a few minutes, um, moments, Spotted Leaf lowered her head and b turned to Blue Star. It, it was a message from Star Clan. She murmured. A distant look came up into her eyes. Fire alone can save our clan. Fire, Blue Star echoed, but fire is feared by all the clans. How can it save us? Spotted Leaf shook her head. I don't know. I do not know, she admitted, but this message Star Clan has chosen to share with me. The Thunder Clan leader fixed her blue, clear blue eyes on the medicine cat. You have never been wrong before, Spotted Leaf, she meowed. If Star Clan has spoken, then this must this be so. Fire will save our clan. Mm, very interesting piece. Fire will save our clan. Why did you select that particular section of the book? Because it speaks of a prophecy uh, of of Firepaw and how what you, oh that's a spoiler darn it because um, okay. um, it introduces us to um, like the whole beginning of our story and how Firepaw will be very important to our clan and how this uh, this prophecy will affect his entire stay in, in Fire uh, Thunder Clan. Fantastic. So it will actually affect not only just this book, but also the entire series as a whole, right? I think so, yeah. yeah fantastic. So um, this particular book is the first in which of the series, because as I recall, Warriors is a, a whole bunch of different types of series, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so can you kind of give us a background as to what the Warriors setup looks like when it comes to series? Uh, so... Well, this is the first book. The whole introduction we get from the series and how, like, how this will affect all the other series. And so this is, wait, what was Yes, yeah, so this is book one from the first part of the series, yeah. right? Yes. How many different parts of series are there in The Wars, do I, you know? I believe there's seven books okay. and then four um, seri uh, different, so there's, this is the... The prophecies begin. This is the first series, and then there will be seven books, and then a new series, the new prophecy, will come out, and then it, that will be a whole new set of books, and then it keeps going. Okay, okay. So this is almost an endless amount of series and content, right? This I is a this is a story, but you you can't understand the rest of it unless you read book one. Yes. Okay. So five out of five stars. Yes, definitely. Awesome. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Well, this has been our episode of Book Tasters this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, to listen to this podcast, you can find out anywhere podcasts are downloaded. You can also go to thebooktasters.com or you can go to my website at timothyjburdick.com. 
follow us on social media. We post every week. Thank you so much for coming along and talking to us about this wonderful series, The Warrior Stella. I appreciate it. Yep. 